we're going to try and read this book again. I'm so sorry the recording messed up the other day. Today we're going to be reading about Monarch Butterflies by Gail Gibbons. We are going to be watching the butterfly life cycle. I have a butterfly life garden set up for you guys that I will show you pictures of and videos as our butterflies grow. So that's why we're reviewing the butterfly life cycle. A monarch butterfly settles on the leaf of a milkweed plant. She gently presses a tiny egg onto one of its leaves. The egg is the beginning of another. It's summertime in the north. A breeze stirs the stem of the milkweed plant. The monarch egg is white and shiny. It is the size of a small dot and sticks to the leaf. When the butterfly lays the egg, she makes it sticky. Wind and rain cannot make the egg come loose. Take a moment and turn and talk to your partner. What have you learned about the butterfly's egg so far? So a butterfly's egg is very sticky. That way it will not come loose is one thing we've learned. Now we're to caterpillars. In a few days, the egg hatches and crawls out of a small cat out crawls a small caterpillar or a larva. First, the caterpillar eats the eggshell and then chews away at the milkweed leaf. The egg of a monarch is almost always laid on a milkweed plant. The plant will be its food. The caterpillar eats and grows and begins to change. It breaks out of its old skin, showing a new skin underneath. This is called molting. For two weeks, the caterpillar eats and eats. It molts about five times. Finally, it has a full-grown monarch caterpillar about two inches long. Turn and talk and tell your partner something you have learned about how a caterpillar grows. Now, something wonderful begins to happen. The caterpillar creeps to the stem of the leaf. It attaches itself to the stem and drops down head first. The caterpillar's bright colors become greenish. The skin splits and moves to the top. The skin falls off and a strange new form appears. It is called the chrysalis or the pupa. The chrysalis is like a blanket that is wrapped around the body growing inside. At first, the chrysalis is long and soft. Then it shrinks and hardens and becomes light green decorated with gold dots. Inside, the monarch butterfly begins to grow. About two weeks later, the chrysalis changes again. It turns gray-green before becoming transparent. Inside are white dots and orange and black lines. We're going to stop there. I'd like you to turn and tell your partner something you have learned about the chrysalis. Now, class, I'm going to go over to a life cycle that I have drawn to help us review. So, um, I borrowed some pictures because drawing on the iPad is very hard. So, here we have a leaf with its egg. And on the egg, I know that eggs are usually sticky and they're laid on milkweed plant. That way, they have food when they hatch. And then I have a larva or a caterpillar. They grow and molt their skin up to five times. You could write any fact you wanted. Now, for today, I would like you to write a fact or two about a pupa or a chrysalis that you learned today. So, write down some facts you learned about the pupa or the chrysalis. And I have a special treat. I have linked a drawing video for you to draw a butterfly, a monarch butterfly. 
And then tomorrow we are going to label the parts of a monarch butterfly. And I'll have my drawing ready for you too. So please go ahead and draw your monarch butterfly. That way tomorrow you'll be ready to label it. I will talk to you tomorrow. I hope you have a fun day. And if you get to go outside today, see if you can find a yellow and black caterpillar to play with, very gently of course, and send me a picture. I would love to see your caterpillar pictures.